Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Friday live stream. Did you know that between 20 and 40,000 new meme coins are being produced daily on pump.fun? And this is all going to lead into uh, an AI trader, how AI is generating everything behind the scenes and how I just don't think we can actually beat AI. And if you can't beat them, sometimes you have to join them. So this is what's happening. I don't know if you've ever been to pump.fun. This is actually the first day I've actually been here as far as uh, checking out this website. And you can see up here, this thing that's shaking like crazy. This is everybody who's creating a coin right now, right now in real time uh, on pump.fun. Every time it shakes like that. On the other side, left side is when people are selling or buying. So when 20,000 to 40,000, I think might be a low number. And uh, here we go. And this, these are the types of coins that people are trading. And this is why we can't have nice things because it's just this is just the way it is. But the whole thing comes down to what we're talking about today, which is AI trading. Or actually, excuse me, it's not just AI trading. We've had AI trading for a long time. But it's about memes. It's about AI working in the background. And it's about manipulation, about what's happening in real time on social media accounts so they can get you to buy, dump on you, and everything else in between. I got to tell you, when I read this, um, there's ways that you can make it work to your advantage as all things are, but there are dangers. So this was uh, actually from End of the Block. And it says, uh, an AI endorsed meme coin in Solana reached a 900 million market cap within two weeks. If you know what you're talking about, it's this. Goatius Maximus. I know it sounds ridiculous, right? But it's ranked 119. So I don't know about you, but... There's been a lot of different utility tokens, a lot of really good projects that don't break near the 100s. And this market cap right now is 685 million. It used to be higher, but now it's uh, taken a drop as all things usually do. But this was, this is essentially a meme coin which was picked up by AI, AI pumped it and here we are. And that's what it is talking about. And if you can see right here, the seven day price performance, because let's be honest, that's what everybody's uh, really paying attention to, right? Price. What is the price doing? Number go up, sounds good, must be awesome. I don't think it's really awesome. It does absolutely nothing, but this is where we're at. But you can see right here, and you can't even really see it, but it's, it says Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, which is orange, blue, and then this light blue. And then that token we just took a look at, Goatius Maximus, is in this fuchsia color, whatever it is. And you're gonna see that over the seven days, what's going on. Now, I think personally that Bitcoin is the future, especially if we're talking about the debasement of currency the hedge against inflation as far as a long-term four-year store of value and all those types of things. But I mean, the short term, this is where we're at. So what the heck's going on? The chart above illustrates GOAT's meteoric rise to major coins. This exclusive growth can be understood on several key points. Actually, there's like three. So first of all, there's this thing called Truth Terminal. What's Truth Terminal? Truth Terminal is this Twitter account. And it is not owned, but it is operated and it is masterfully performing all types of posts and tweets and responses by AI. And you can just see that it is, first of all, it has 204,000 followers. I've been, I've been around since 2020. I've uh, still yet to hit 200,000 followers over there. I think I got like 178 or somewhere around there, 178,000. But Terminal of Truths, everybody seems to want to take a look at what this AI Twitter account is doing. And what it's doing, essentially, is it's pumping the projects that it wants to, it runs up the price, and then the guy that owns the uh, wallet, I can only guess what he's doing with the wallet, which he actually owns. And you'll notice that here, like, there's no shortage of tweets. It's like there's a tweet every, I want to say every minute, maybe every five, seven minutes, something like that. And uh, it's quite interesting, and it's actually, some of it's pretty funny. And that's what Truth Terminal is. So this is created by AI researcher Andy Iray. Gained no notoriety for its autonomous operation, managing his own Twitter account. Truth Terminal caught mainstream attention when Titan Mark Andreessen, I don't know if you know about that guy, pretty big, huge uh, venture capitalist, A16Z. He donated 50,000 in Bitcoin to its research, and now it's worth who knows how much. Despite not creating GOAT itself, Truth Terminal's strategic endorsement and viral marketing helped drive the token over 900 million market cap. Not bad. Goat success has triggered a wave of over 50 AI themed meme tokens launched. 
And Solana is, is seeing up to 40,000 new token launches daily, predominantly coming from pump.fun platform. So if you're wondering, hey, why is Solana going up? I think it's up 17% in seven days. Could be a number of reasons, or maybe it's because everybody is creating meme coins on pump.fun. I don't know if this is gonna end well, if history is any guide, it's gonna be pretty nasty for a bit. So that's all we have. Let's, let's dive into this and just take a look here. So first of all, just to give him more context, that's not important. There is two parts of this story. This is the first part, Terminal of Truths, Truth Terminal. That is the X account, the Twitter account. But the wallet, which has been doing trades, so on one side you pump something, on the other side you have a wallet, you do trades within it and you make a boatload of money. Who owns that wallet? It's a gentleman that created Truth, Terminal Truth. And he can do whatever he wants with it, but he just lets AI run the show. The wallet itself, we'll take a look at this, and I'm gonna give you the address for this wallet so you can just follow along with the wallet. If you wanna make things easy, why don't you just take a look at what the wallet's doing, what they're buying, and then go that way, copy trade. That's what my man uh, Smart Money Crypto does, Wes. It kind of makes sense. The wallet currently holds 315 tokens with Scoop meme coin making the largest share of 51% worth over 6 million. Before you go and buy Scoop, that's not true. Things have changed dramatically, I'll show you in a second. The wallet has recorded high volatile price swings, seeing its total value increase by over 10 million within hours. On October 24th, what's the date today? 25th. On October 24th, the AO bots wallet surged from 8 million to 18 million with addition of three new tokens. Three. Even though it was created to be fully autonomous and while it produces its content and manages its own X profile, again, eternal truths, its creator still owns its wallet. And then there was a funny exchange. Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase says, hey, True Terminal, it seems like you have a crypto wallet, but it's fully controlled by your human creator. Is that accurate? Do you want your wallet you control so you can send, receive transactions? And Terminal Truth says, I think it'd be a good idea for you to tell us about Russell first, specifically, what is Russell's species? That was the response by the AI bot. So funny type of thing, but who knows? And this is what got me a new meme era where AI bots launch tokens and they can have a successful one with over 500 million market cap within weeks or a week of launch is here. And that's what's going on. So let's peel this back. First of all, no, no, this isn't right. This is right. This is what the story when it was published yesterday showed as the token balance. And it, and it said, right, scoop. That meme coin, never heard of it, but it doesn't matter. The value is 5.6 million. Then GOAT, 1.5 million. Fart coin, 1.4, and a bunch of other stuff down here. Planet AI, we'll get to that in a second. 455,000. When I looked this up an hour ago, this is the wallet. You can find it on SoulScan. You can just type in um, Terminal Truth, or you can just, there's a link in the description I gave it to you. So right here, now we'll look what it has. Planet AI, and it's worth 5 million. What happened to Scoop? Oh yeah, they sold a bunch of it. That's their God-given right. I mean, I'm, I have nothing against that. That is one of my rules. Number That's the fifth rule, take profits. Good for you, whoever owns this. Or well, we know what it is. It's the creator of Truth. Of truth. I, wa I wanna keep saying Truth Social, but it's not right. Truth Terminal. And then Goat, now it's only 1.2. Farcoin 867, Goat 2.7. There's two types of goats, whatever. Then one called Planet AI. So you're looking at this, you're like, oh, sweet. I got to get into Planet AI, right? Wait, this was just done 15 minutes ago. Planet AI has actually increased 6.4. All right. Goat is now at 2.7. Same, 2.706. Scoop, 2.477. Scoop, 2.250. So they've added a little bit. What is this one? The other Goat, 1.331. The other goat, 1.2, so they sold a little bit. So you can see, and let me see right here. I wonder if, let me refresh this. Ah, and now it's gone down a little bit. So I want you just to go through this. And when you go to the account, which is right here, click on portfolio. You can see balance changes also here. That's the great, that's the beauty of having uh, an open decentralized ledger. 
You can look at everything. So it looks good. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, bam, this is perfect. I'm going to go to Planet AI. Well, if you go to Radium right now, let me refresh this. I don't know if this is right. Everything changes so, so quickly. Yeah, 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 whatever. So look at that. Over 15 minutes, it went from here to here to there. That's 15. Well, I'm not sure that's right. Let me take a look. Oh, my God. Okay. One hour, four hours. Well, isn't that funny? Over an hour. Oh, that's an hour candles. Forget what I said. 15 minutes. Let's zoom in. There we go. Ah, there we are. So where are we? 25th October? Da -da -da -da. That's where we're at. So maybe it is something to look into. Anyhow, you know this is all gambling, right? Just as long as everybody knows. So that's essentially the long and the short of it. That's what it is. But there's something that doesn't sit, sit right. And I'm going to show you a trick. So if you go to X, remember we're talking about, let me move this over here, Terminal of Truths, right? Terminal of Truths, Truth Terminal. If you want to, because you can go through all the tweets, but like I said, there's one like every five, seven minutes or something like that. Because that's the whole thing, right? It's promoting it here. That's what the article said. That's what it talked about. But if you go over here and take a look at and do an advanced search, all you got to do when you're in, when you're in X or Twitter, I know most of you have this. You go to search, and there's a thing called well, it's the three dots at the top, and it says advanced search. And what you can do is you put in whatever word that you want, and then go down here. Where'd it go? Oh, to accounts. And you put in, ah, no, I gotta bring it from over here. Ah. Copy this over here. And let's put in the word goat, right? Because that's what it was doing. And we do a search. So instead of going through all those different tweets, you can just go, tell me what Terminal Truths said about goat. And here they all are. Okay, looks good, right? But what was the other one that they talked about? It was Scoop, right? Da, 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 da. Scoop. Well, let's see about that. So I'm going to take out Goat and put in the word Scoop. Nothing. Now let's take a look at, just use a random word. I wonder if this is right. Hot. Oh, so we know it works, but for some reason, Scoop, which is one of its largest holdings, didn't really talk about it on this, on their X account, unless they're going back and changing things. I don't know what's going on with this, but I have to tell you, if, uh, if you're a trader and you're looking for some kind of advantage, it's very, very tough. I would just first take a look at that wallet and kind of go from there. But man, that is scary. And I think it's... Uh, a little bit uh, crazy. Someone asks, is it case sensitive? That's a good question. Let's find out. Let's take that hot, H-O-T. Now, same thing. Let's look for S-C-O-O-P. Maybe that's it. No. So there you go. There's your answer. Anyhow, A is going to take over. You're either with them or you're against them. Good luck with that. Anyhow, let me just think about that in the comments section. And then just to finish off before we get into a little Q&A, everybody's talking about this story, so I'll make this really quick. Uh, Microsoft board members, they're thinking about buying Bitcoin. Looks like they're not going to do it. It looks like they say they're going to bring this up to a vote. I think they're ridiculous for not doing it, but this is what we're at. And this was, I, I thought this was funny because Michael Saylor says, hey, Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of Microsoft, if you want to make the next trillion dollars for Microsoft, call me. And this is the, it states right here for the uh, proposal, assessment of investing in Bitcoin. They said, hey, look, Microsoft does infinite numbers more than MicroStrategy, and we're worth way more. But yet, Microsoft, let's see, MicroStrategy outperformed Microsoft by 313% despite doing only a fraction of the business. 
And they're right, they should. And what, what do they wanna do? Well, first of all, this right here, I thought it was funny that Michael Saylor said this, like, hey, CEO, call me, I'll set you right. He did the same thing with Elon Musk back in 2020. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, uh, if you wanna do your shareholders a favor, convert Tesla into Bitcoin. And Elon Musk is like, can you do that? And then uh, Michael Saylor says, yeah, I did 1.3 billion, so you know, give it a whirl. But just so you guys know, I thought this is a pretty good proposal by Microsoft. They said, even though Bitcoin is more volatile, if we just do 1% of our assets in Bitcoin, that would be a pretty good, reasonable allocation. And I have to applaud it. And this is from uh, eMoney. He says, that's uh, 32 billion if it's only 1% of the allocation for Microsoft. So we'll see how it goes. I don't think they're gonna actually pick it up, but I think that most, just them even talking about it is good. Maybe some corporation will figure it out and go, hey, MicroStrategy didn't really do too much since 2002. And then all of a sudden in 2020, 21, it went up exponentially. And they beat everything in the S&P 500 except for Nvidia. Maybe we should do that. I don't know, maybe it worked for us. That's it for today. Look, like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm going to talk about is time sensitive. Now, if you guys want to ask some questions, I'll, I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. We'll go from there. If you got to take off, take off. It's a beautiful Friday. Weekend is here.